Hey guys, hope you're doing well. This video is about conversation AI. So I know this feature has been there for a while and I haven't made a video of this. I'm just making a quick video showing all the settings um, and configurations that you need to go through in order to use conversation AI. So I'm in one sub account right now in high level and I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go to conversation AI. As you can see, this wizard is already there for me, but if you don't see it, if you see a pop-up that says that enable conversation AI, you need to go to agency settings. And then from there, you need to enable it. So just click on the button on the pop-up, it will take care of itself. So now what we are gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the settings and all the configurations. Let's start with preferences. So you can turn it off, you can do a suggestive format or you can do autopilot. So uh, the conversation AI will be on autopilot. If you turn it off, but that basically means that conversation AI won't be automatically you know active but you can still use it using go high level workflows so if you have a go high level workflow for AI chatbot and stuff so you can use that conversation AI in the in the workflow despite turning it off from here so I'm going to do autopilot and the supported channels I can do SMS Facebook Instagram chat uh, widget live chat I'll just do SMS for now and then advanced settings okay business name is uh, I've given it the business name, configure autopilot mode. So wait time before responding. Every time the bot gets a reply, it will wait for 30 seconds and it will generate a reply for, you know, that, that message it got 30 seconds ago and then it'll reply. Maximum messages bot can send to a particular contact. I've given it 25. So give it as many as you can. Uh, send bot to sleep when I send a message. So let's say conversation AI is having a chat with a lead. In the meantime, I reply manually or I enter that conversation. So this is the usual timeout, uh, you know, sleep time for the conversation AI when that happens. So all that done. And then we will look into bot trial a bit later. But for now, I'll just go to bot training. So here you need to enter your website or, you know, the business website. So it gets all the data from the website, everything, all the learning data about the business. Uh, you know, it trains itself based on the business information found on the website. And if you come over here and uploaded links, you can see all the links uh, that it fetched from my website. And now it knows everything about my Google ad services, my services, Facebook ads, terms and conditions, privacy policy, so it can answer any question. However, if you want to add a custom question that you thought that, uh, so the answer to this question is not on my website, you can add it here as a custom Q and A. So as you can see, I have added a custom question. How much is the Google ads monthly management service? So I just added that uh, here. That's basically the training phase. Now, if you go to configure intents, you can do two things here. Number one, you can turn it off and say, this bot will be only used to answer general queries about the business. Uh, if a lead wants to have a general query, the bot can answer it based on the learning data it got from the website or it extracted from my website. Or a more important feature or a more powerful feature is appointment booking. So it can automatically book appointments for your leads. So for that, if you go to calendars, let's say I have a calendar for my company and I want leads to book an appointment through this calendar. So what I can do is I can go to conversation AI go to configure intents, I can enable appointment booking and I can select this calendar over here. So what, what's going to happen is as your lead enters the system, conversation AI kicks off and then it can start chatting with the lead. It can get the lead to book an appointment. The lead doesn't even have to go to the calendar and pick a date and time and fill out a form. Conversation AI does it automatically. I'm going to tell you how it's done. So uh, don't book appointment. Don't turn it on because instead of booking the appointment automatically for the lead, it will send the booking link. So the lead has to go ahead and uh, I mean, the prospect has to go ahead and book, book the appointment manually. So I'm going to keep it off. Hit save. And that's, I mean, a really basic setup for conversation. AI. There's, there's lots of other things you can do. I'll, I'll do a separate video on how to use conversation AI with go high level automations workflows. So that's a video for another day. But now if I go to bot trial, make sure you have enabled this and go to bot trial. Now you can select the mode, which is appointment booking. Otherwise, if you select general question, it won't be able to book that appointment. So I'm going to say, hi, I uh, want to book a call. So let's say the, the lead entered the system and conversation AI would kick off, you know, uh, and then I sure thing when you, when do you want to book the call for? I'll say what times are available next Monday. Now the response could be anything, right? So it could, it should say all the 
slots okay so we've got some open spots of open on next monday 2nd september here are a few options so these are the actual slots from the calendar these are the first slots that conversation ai found available on the calendar that's why it's getting those so i'll just say how about half past eight okay yes so in this case the prospect is not going through another date and time pickup and then form a uh, form submission because the lead information is already in the system the ai just needs to know the slots available and it does the work itself it will actually go ahead and book this person for that slot right so that's pretty awesome if you ask me now one more thing we need to ch check is if you go to configure intents and go to edit prompt here's the prompt so basically if you remember how you use chat gpt just give it a bit you, you know give it prompt to write content or you know generate articles and stuff you just have to literally give that kind of uh, you know intent prompt here so if you look at this this is the default prompt it has but this is pretty awesome you're a bot for this business tasked to assist customers your primary goal is to build trust and guide customers towards booking an appointment and uh, you know your goal is to get the customer to book an appointment you have to be polite you have to you can't use bad words you know that kind of stuff so once you're done you just need to check everything and then hit save uh and then you can go ahead and you know do your bot trial and once it's done you just need to make sure that it's on autopilot and that's it there you go so the conversation ai setup is really easy and really effective if you ask me so i hope this video was helpful again like i said i'll make another video another day on how to use conversation ai with workflows and i'll see you in the next one thank you mm -hmm.